It's 6.30 a.m. in the hills of Hunterdon County, and we're going up, up, and away with one of the youngest female commercial balloon pilots in the state. I think a lot of younger people are starting to get into the sport, which is good. So, you know, younger people to hang out with when you go to events and different festivals and stuff. Sally's younger sister and father, both pilots, are part of the crew today. It's a good family thing for us, family bonding and time that we really get to spend together. So now, of course, with three pilots in the family, there's always the fight over who gets to fly. There's plenty of safety concerns for this 25-year-old to think about before every flight. Um, our number one weather concern is wind. Well, on the takeoff, in order to stabilize the balloon, you don't want the balloon rolling around too much, but mostly on the landing, because you don't want a crash landing. We're looking for clear skies, no rain. Um, we have to have three miles of visibility because we're flying visual flight rules. We have no instruments to guide us. Now it's time to burn some propane and get airborne. <laughs> Sally is also director for the Quick Check New Jersey Festival of Ballooning at Solberg Airport in Reddington. She explains how she got involved. When I was in college, I interned for the festival. Um, and then immediately after college was hired, like two days after I graduated, got hired as a director. And this event is big. It is the largest summertime balloon and music festival in North America. It is second only to the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta, which is the largest in the world. A few hundred feet below, Sally's dad and sister are tracking the balloon with GPS and waiting for us to touch down. See, this is perfect. He can be here to catch us. Oh. And we're just going to drag a little bit. We're good. There is a tradition in ballooning once the pilot and passengers are safely on the ground. Uh, we will give a bottle of champagne to our landowners, and we will share in a toast with them. And we toast to gentle breezes and soft landings and say the balloonist prayer and think back to uh, you know, the 1783 when ballooning started.